plant a company decides to take you off there are two things or three things that you definitely need to know about the companies especially if the company is to let you go it can either let you to go in a very good way or it can let you to go in a bad way depending on the kind of situation of the company and depending on who are those people working in the company most of us we come to these gulf countries and made it companies in one way or the other when we are coming to these countries definitely we do not know which kind of company we are coming for and we do not know the kind of sponsorship that we are coming for and also something that we definitely i need to let you know that we do not understand we do not know which kind of contracts exactly that we are going to work most of the times when we are in our countries we find that we sign contracts that are contrary to two years but when you get to understand at the end of it all you sign what you call the unlimited companies your unlimited contracts and this has got to most of you that you've gotten to fall culprits of that in one way or the other what happens with the noc i want to let you know and explain to you what you call about uh, all about what you call the noc and what you call an exit permit for those that have been asking me a lot of those questions especially when it comes to Qatar yes remember when you are going to resign that country now resign to that company you definitely need to give what you call a resignation period uh, remember if you've been in the company for only one year or less you are supposed to give a company for only one month which is called the notice period and if definitely you are going to resign in that company and you've been to that company for more than what you call two years then definitely you have to give more than two years and definitely that is what exactly happens so remember as you are giving the notice period it may be one month it may be three weeks maybe two months depending on which kind of company you are working for and which kind of employer you are working for there's a lot of things that are actually like something like around three things that you definitely need to keep in your mind and what you definitely need to know in one way that. and that's what i talk about is that make sure you finish up the notice period or make sure you serve the notice period without even fighting with your employer and make sure you do your diligence and do your duties as assigned to you in that period why to avoid having what you call crucial crashes with what you call the employer and at the end of it all when you finish up or when you're about to finish up hand over and hand over everything to the company if it is the uniform that you're supposed to hand over hand over such that this company can prepare what you call your exit to go out of the country and can cancel you out of what you call your visa so that you can have someone else that can give you the visa in one way or the other. There are some companies that have got short of what you call uh, uh, the, 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 the contracts and they will let you, let you definitely go. Maybe in that kind of case, they want to let you to go and look for a job. Yes, when we go out to look for those jobs, it doesn't matter how you start, go and look for those jobs. Yes, some people may say being in Qatar is one easy thing that you can also find the job, but again, it is on a two-way contrary. It is either easy or very hard for you to find a job when you are in the country. Now, likewise, this person who may be coming out of the country who is far looking for a sponsor to give him a work visa to come into the country. But remember, for you, you are inside the country and you have to look for someone who is changing your sponsorship from one sponsorship, which may a little bit also be a little bit very tricky or hard in some way. What do we have to say or what do we have to say? Yes, some company will say, look for a job, look for that job, look for that employer who is going to give you what you call an offer letter. After giving you an offer letter, come, we shall give you the annual NOC. But remember, when we are looking at what you call an NOC, an NOC also has what you call an expiry date. Don't think that they're going to give you an NOC and you're going to sit on that NOC and your employer who's prospecting employer who's willing to give you the work takes his own pace and he doesn't speed up the process you may end up your oc all rejected one way or the other and yet you get to lose it in one way or the other so most of the time when we go to these interviews i keep on telling people just be real to say the prospecting our employer who is willing to give you a job you say i'm willing to take on the job but i'll have an oc for my camp from my company but the requirement is that the process a due process of processing will be done as soon as possible such as my company can let me go in one way or the other then something also i need to let you for people who are changing employment in one way or the other if you want to change employment decide once and for all to change don't change and again you tell the old employer to renew i do remember 
every article month of that ID is paid what we call 100 Qatar Riyal for most people that know that. And definitely, that is something that definitely I need to let you know that you have to pay up that money. Every month that is not being caught off with the ID is paid what we call 100 Riyal. So who loses at the end of the all? You're the person on the own of the ID, you get to lose in one way or the other, which graphically uh, definitely will never give you something that definitely you want to go at one moment. So a few things that you definitely need to know, uh, which kind of company also you are going to is also uh, a question that always you should put in your mind and you should have those answers for it. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? What company and what kind of job am I supposed to go away kind of job am I looking for which is quite very important yes we look at finding jobs in Qatar and which is definitely most of the most very important thing that we talk about is that how do we find how do we get to find jobs how do we get to find those prospects uh, as sponsors or employers that can help us change or shift from one job to another the attitude or what you call the the, the, the enthusiastic feeling begins with you the person who's looking for a last job first of all don't take the hardest means of transport don't use Uber, which maybe or current taxi or those uh, means that is going to take you a lot of money we have a lot of metro we have metro station here we have the car buses that can make it conveniently move you at a lower cost uh, to move from all prospective uh, places from one place to another it's not for you to give up but always to push yourself harder and harder every single day hope i've tried to share something for you for those people that are coming to this channel please if you're first time coming to this channel remember it's makes from the next um, creation and if it's your first time please consider subscribing by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell you'll always be updated wherever i get to upload the new video thank you so much always for liking makes creation thank you so much for subscribing if it's your first time please share don't forget to comment i'll always be very happy i'm more than happy to get back to you thank you so much see you again when i get any other update to share with you Remember, it's mixed from the next creation.